Hello guys and welcome to OK Mobile. As promised, today we're gonna find out if Ace of Knaves the Joker is actually usable in the tower against regular battles or boss battles. Uh, we're gonna find out if his dots actually scale with his attack. Uh, or if do they scale with his uh, level or what do they even scale with? So let's just jump right into it. Let's see, right now I have a Joker. I didn't give him any tower gear because I kind of want to see if there's going to be a difference if I give him tower gear. Will his dots do more damage or not? Or what is it? What does it even depend on? Uh, let's 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 see. Let's see. We're gonna do a few battles. We're gonna do battle 87. Then we're gonna do a boss battle in the end. See if his attacks uh, and his dots work on bosses, and that's gonna give us a good answer. All right, we're gonna do uh, first of all a, a, a Joker juice. We're gonna do a Venom deck and see how much damage this juice does. And now I'm gonna take out and just see see the damage go. Wow, that is that is no damage whatsoever. And from what people told me, you can actually stack stack uh, cards. So now she has juice, and now you can do boom two cards. So she's getting double damage. Let's just stand there and block. Oh, she decked out, but she's still taking damage. Interesting, interestingly enough. Okay, let's see how much damage does this do. Honestly, compared to regular dots. This is not that much damage. Let's take a look. How much is it gonna do? It's, it does like maybe. Actually, it's not too bad. It it lasts longer than regular dot. That actually does a pretty decent damage. Wait, wait, wait! wait. I don't want to kill you. I want I want my Joker to do all the dirty work. I'm kind of curious if these numbers are gonna change. Okay, let's let's break some gear. We're gonna do greening deck. Break one deck, do two deck. This greening card does a lot of damage, actually. Uh, all right, let's do another Joker juice. Boom, boom, boom. It's sticking for a little bit. Goodbye. Nah, two cards. It hits for like 300 damage. Honestly, not that much. Mm, so far, I'm not impressed. I was getting definitely much higher numbers in Faction Wars. Uh, well, to be fair, I was fighting stronger enemies too. But like, when my Joker was Fusion 10, because of the Fusion boost, his damage output on his dots was much higher. Okay, now let's see if, if it depends on his fusion, his level, or maybe just his attack. Uh, so if we're gonna give him my best uh, tower piece of gear, let's see. Sword by newest. I'm gonna give him the uh, Time Traveler's Arms Cache. So his attack is gonna pretty much go one, one and a half times. So he should be doing that much more in dots, if my theory is correct. Let's test it, let's see. Refresh, go. Oh, Lizard Baraka, we're fighting my my beautiful baby boy Lizard. Okay. All right. Are you ready for my Joker juice, Dvora? Nobody's ever ready for the Joker juice. Okay, it's sticking definitely more. Definitely more. This is already more viable. But I kind of want to compare it to the dots. Like, what if we compare it, for example, with with a poison or a bleed? I feel like bleed is ticking so much more and so much faster. Uh, let's break some gears. Oh, it didn't break anything. Didn't break anything again. It didn't bring anything three times. Wait, what? Excuse me? We got some electricity. Let's see the damage going. Oh yeah, this is vampires, so they're healing all the damage back. I forgot. That's unfortunate. Let's just kill this man. We we need we need to figure this out. What is happening? Dvora, did you miss my juicy juice? Wait, but let, let let me test something. Okay, there is a chance for her to miss. Okay, I thought that didn't work either. Oh boy. Oh boy. He ate my arm. What a nasty boy. You are turn me boy. You are. So let's let's put some 
Let's put like the weakest character that I have that can do a dot. And we're gonna compare the damage of Joker, Joker dot and the weakest character that I have dot. That's gonna be an interesting experiment. All right, I got him. I got Cold War Scarlet. So we're gonna compare. Uh, we're gonna do. Well, Joker Juice does much less damage than the other one. So we're gonna do the other one first. We're gonna do the uh, the buzzer. Okay, buzzer deck. We're gonna throw it right away and then tag to Scarlet and see how much this damage it does. Okay, look, on Kano it does much more. So this dot. Oh my God, this Kano only has twenty nine thousand HP. And look how much damage it does. It, it ticks him for 1,000, 1,000, 2,000. If it crits, wait, his dots can crit. Holy crap, Joker dots can crit. I kind of want to know how much it does. it's going to do on this guy. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to attack the Joker, my bad. Okay, let's do this again. We're going to do buzzer deck. We're gonna throw a card. Let's see how much damage he takes. He also gets hit by like 700, 1000, 1200, even though he's. Wait, why am I doing more damage suddenly? Alright, now let's test. Let's test the. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're gonna taste, taste, taste the bleed. Let's see how much bleed is gonna do to this lady. Bleed is doing like 780, so it's not actually more than that. But yeah, for some reason, this fight, my Joker was doing way more damage with his dots. What happened? After I put Cold War Scarlet in the team. Is there some passive in Cold War Scarlet that increases damage from the dots? Like, what the hell changed? He was barely doing damage last time. Okay, I'm a little bit confused now. But it seems like right now it does more damage than the bleed, which is insane. I don't know. I, I don't get why. Why did my Joker t suddenly turn into a god? Okay, battle 90. We're going to do some tests. We're going to run some tests, guys. We're going to see if his dots work on bosses. Uh, and then we're going to see if we can break bosses' gear. Because so far, I, I, I don't think my breaking gear thing worked at all. Fight. Let's start uh, with the buzzer deck. Boom. And now we tag. Yep. Doesn't do nothing. Oh, and we just die. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I I'm gonna waste a few tries here, but it's okay. I, I need to get to the bottom of this. You know what the interesting part is? It's not that the, the card Dodd doesn't, doesn't do any damage to bosses. I feel like the card itself doesn't do any damage to bosses. All right, let's try the grinning deck. Let's see if we can break any gear on this man. It does have indestructible debuff. One armor destroyed, weapon destroyed, another armor destroyed. Wait, let's check if that's true. He has now 580, 86,000 health. How much does he usually have? Well, let's let's exit and see. 586,000. I feel like that didn't change at all. I'm wasting so much tries here, but it's a normal tower. Who cares? I'm not gonna get trash anyway. Uh. It says dot immunity, but it doesn't have indestructible. That's why it works. Because he doesn't have indestructible. I need to find a boss battle. I think it's going to be in Fatal Tower. It was indestructible. For now, yeah, it does work. All right, let's try, uh, let's try, let's say, the power drain should work on bosses, right? So technically, technically we should be able to, to do the draining power part. Let's do this. Okay, the card itself does a little bit of damage. Let's just apply all of them and see if it... Does it do power drain? I'm just gonna throw everything on him. And now we do this. He doesn't take any dot damage. I'm, I'm not sure about the power though. But his head looks like he's gonna explode. Doesn't feel like any of his armor broke. Yeah, definitely. Armor doesn't really break. Which means, even though it's said armor broke, but he doesn't have less health. This is weird, don't you think? Why the hell would that be? Maybe because the tower gear, they did the same thing as they did with the Tanya. So when you break it, it only breaks the effects, but it doesn't break the stats. Is that the reason, Mr. Game? 
I'm disappointed in you, Mortal Kombat. Okay, so he should have an unblockable piece of gear, so let's see if he has block breaker anymore. Or did she actually break it? Doesn't look like he has unblockable anymore. Which is really nice. Ooh, that, that sh attack is nasty. Interesting. So what did we learn? Joker is pretty much useless. Pretty much absolutely useless for the towers. Punch him in the nuts, boy. Oh, that should hurt you a lot. I'm not wasting more, than, more tries than this one. My looking should be able to deal with this man. I don't think I put any new tower gear on this man yet, but I don't need it. I'm getting power right now, that's all I need. Thank you and good night. Die, little boss. Disappointment. Disappointment. Joker doesn't do anything for bosses. Not at any fusion. And it does seem like his dots are affected by, by his attack, which means Fusion 10 Joker dots are going to be stronger than Fusion 0 Joker, Joker dots. Which, again, makes, makes him worse, in my opinion, because at low fusions, he's just not going to be that effective at all. Uh, what? How? How else can I test this? Let's give him all tower gear and see what happens. One thing that actually is pretty insane for this man is that he can crit. He can actually crit on his uh, dots, which is insane. It, it can be very big damage. Let's see how much we can do right now. Com let's again compare it to bleed. Uh, let's do buzzer deck. We're gonna throw a bleed card, and it hits for like about 900 when not critical. When critical, it's up to 2,000. 900. So uh, th I'll take that. That that's like non-critical. If you take an average, it, it it's gonna be about 13, 1,200 in my opinion. Let let's put a bleed on this lady. Let's see how much damage she takes from bleed. Bleed only does 748. That's pretty crazy. Bleed does less than the, the, the weakest attacks from the Joker. Uh, let's do the, the juice one and see how much that does. The juice only does 253, not much. Okay, so let's just let's just use it all. And we're gonna do buzzer again. No, I wanted to do a card! Stupid game. She still takes 253. It's... It lasts so long though, way longer than regular uh, dots. That's crazy how long it lasts. Give me Joker! I wanna put another card on her. I wanna kill her with power, with love. Wait, it says she's bleeding, but she's not. What what kind of a glitch is that? That's a weird glitch. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do buzzer deck. One. <gasps> I did it! That's the wrong thing! <laughs> I'm stupid. Alright, I guess it's... We win. Okay, then. Anyway, doesn't matter. I tested everything I needed to test. So now we're gonna answer the question. Is he useful in towers in any capacity? Against boss battle, against non-boss battles, if there is like a difficult battle you cannot get through. Well done. His dots do damage. However, you do need to give him higher attack. So the, the difference between Joker and let's say any character that applies regular dot is that for, for, for the regular character, for the regular dot, it doesn't matter, your character is fusion 0, fusion 10, the dot will do the same damage. However, the damage is actually based, uh, it's percentage based on the health of your enemy. However, if you have a Joker, his dots seem to be like regular hits, so instead of a percentage of enemy's health, his dots are derived from his attack, which means they can also be critical. 
which means that they are pretty much always going to be much higher than the regular dots. I feel like even at Fusion Zero Joker, if you give him, uh, for example, some attack and like give him Wrath Hammer, his attacks, uh, his dots will already equal regular dots. But it also depends. I, I just, I just thought of something. It actually depends on the health of the enemy. So if you're fighting like in the Fatal Tower against very strong enemies, his dots are gonna do less because the enemies have more health and the regular dots will do more. But against weak enemies, he will do more. But he, like, is it even worth it? Okay, I, I, I made my mind. It, it's not worth it. Considering he cannot do anything against bosses, literally anything, even if he breaks their gear, which might be slightly useful, and he can actually break two pieces like this, easy. However, Treacherous Tiny can also break two pieces, easy. And she can break more than two pieces, easy. And even if you break pieces, it doesn't seem to affect the stats. Like the health and attack boosts you get from tower gear, it doesn't affect it. Anyway, my phone is dead, and so is my will to use Joker in any tower. I still stand by the fact that he is fun, but he... He's not that useful. Let's let's be honest. Lizard Baraka is so much more useful than Joker. Uh, I'm gonna try next Lizard Baraka against bosses in this tower. It, it might surprise you. It's gonna be super super cool. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're not super disappointed. Hope you didn't spend all your money on Joker just to find out that he will not actually do much for you except make you laugh and smile. All right, thank you for watching, and thank you members of Patreon for supporting this channel. We're gonna fight. Uh, with Joker a lot more in the future. I'm going to review lots and lots of teams. You guys gave me so many good ideas in the comments. I'm going to use them all. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.